Hey there, I'm Felicia from Buy Your Land for Cash. If you feel stuck with an unwanted property, call or text us. We'll get you a no obligation all cash offer and see what we can do for you. So in today's land blog video, we're gonna talk a bit about determining the potential value of your land in Arizona. If you've ever tried to accurately pinpoint the value of a piece of land, you know that it can be a really difficult process. There are many different things that impact the value of your land. Income, cost, and recent sales approaches don't usually apply to land the same way they do to residential and commercial properties. The income approach would look at how much income a piece of property can bring in, and this typically isn't applicable when talking about land. The cost approach looks at how much it would cost to rebuild. Again, not really applicable here. And to look at the recent sales approach might not be the best either. The land market is very small compared to the housing market. Sometimes lots are sold in bulk, acquired by builders, developers at wholesale prices. Sometimes people pay a fortune for a lot simply because of sentimental and emotional attachments. These kind of situations can greatly impact local averages. And when you're trying to value your land, you need to look at more factors than just what other lots are selling for. So what is the current demand like? Take a look at how land is performing in the market. Is it being bought up right away or is it sitting on the MLS for a while? Look at recent sales and how those lots are priced. Are there many lots available or just a few? If there are properties, if there are plenty of properties available, you might wanna hold off on trying to sell until there is less on the market. Scarcity will help you drive up the value of your Arizona land. What's the current state? If you're dealing with raw land, the cost to run utilities to it can be really expensive. You will have a better shot at finding buyers when the utilities are already in place. But again, that's not really a cost you wanna bear. There should definitely be road access to the property and you may even consider clearing it to make it ready for potential buyers. By taking care of these things before you sell, you do attract more buyers simply by the ease of development and visual aesthetic that you create, but you end up paying more out of pocket to get the property there. How can you add value? The best way to add value to the land is through development. Get quotes from different developers and home builders to find out how much it would take to add a structure, a cabin, a tiny home to your lot. If you don't wanna make that kind of financial commitment, there are still a few things you can do. You can increase the value by removing old dead trees and, and, and brush. You can clear old slabs or rem remnants from old structures. You can take down worn fencing, repair it, repaint the fencing. Make any other improvement that will get the land ready to build. Increasing the visual appeal of the property will also generate more interest and attention when trying to sell your land in Arizona. My team at Buy Your Land for Cash can help. Call or text us 313-307-6737 and we'll get you a no obligation cash offer for your Arizona land. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way they're very first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.